Okay, so. I think we're ready. Uh. We're going back to day two of UDJ and Violet's Yule Streams 22. Violet here wants to go ahead and play <coughs> some Death Stranding for us today. Um, yeah, so I have a an area I have to discover up in the mountains. So I'm going to do that, and I'm going to fix some roads and fix some of my zip lines that are deteriorating. Just kind of show off the game, as it were. <laughs> Maybe that's all the crap that I have. Yep. <clears throat> I figured this would also be a, uh, a good sampling as to what Death Stranding can offer. So all you see really is, you know, all you can call it really talks about what you see immediately, which is like a opening few seconds. Yes, yeah, it's just words. walking, and I'm like, it's, okay, it's, guys, sure. It's, it's just walking. Oh, there's more than that. It's there's more than that, people. Come no, on. There's way I gotta take a break though for a second because uh, you know Violet's gonna be doing all this playing today. Uh, they're gonna be doing all all the all the gameplay you're gonna see today because I've been playing Vampire Survivors like mad, and now there's a blister forming on my phone. So um, I am out of I, I am out of commission. Yeah, this is like this isn't my luggage. This is the material that I'm gonna use to fix the I haven't even like rebuilt this one. I need to beat him. Oh god, I'm gonna scare these dudes. <laughs> turn yourselves up it and turn the game down. So, turn the game down. Did I already turn the game down? Yeah. I meant like on my. Okay. Kung Pao, end of the fist. Fun movie. Yes. <clears throat> People just leave all their stuff in the middle of the road, and I love that, and then I run it over. Yeah, part of what set the grim tone in Witcher 3 was burning corpses everywhere. You know, because it's, 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 it's wartime, it's bad, it's bad stuff. Okay, this one needs it. But... What would, what would happen if there were, like, terrorists that, to torture people, they just tied people naked and waited for the time fall? Huh. That would... Wonder how long it would take for them to die. Wonder even if they would. Like, they would have the skin and, and you know, frailty of, of an 80-year-old man, but still have the, the heart beating of a, you know, a regular 28-year-old man. Oh, that, that shit's fixed. Fixed! Ooh. Beautiful road! Ooh. Ah! Oh god. How long does it take to finally build roads? Uh, uh it depends on if you're on the chiral network or not. Alright, so there are two maps in this game, basically. There's the east uh, portion, which is basically their starting world, and then there's where we are at, oh, and that's no. you know the rest of the United of the United States, save for the uh, the west coast. So like from the Rocky Mountains all the way to you know I'd say the Mississippi, that is where this game, this part of the game takes place. And this part is where you have the roads. The roads don't take too long to build. Because you, you 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 need materials. Certain roads, at least. Yeah, certain roads. Uh, you need to be connected to the chiral network, so that way you can have other players contribute to the roads as well. And you fill in the rest, and then the roads make everything way easier. And that's when the game just really opens up, and it stops being, you know, hiking around and you know musing about the existential crises of modern America. Oh. But and it comes more about <clears throat> just delivering packages, getting likes. Getting things, getting progress, getting items and weapons. It's just... Oh, this game is great. But guys... Guys. 
you weren't just gonna see roads today. Oh no. I roads, got zip lines as well. Roads are just one part of it. Roads make this part this portion of the game easier, but the roads are set in stone. You can't make your own roads, obviously. They're their own set predetermined path. Ooh, yeah, so and there's also the mountain area. Oh. How do I have in my I got a bunch of chemicals. We're gonna drive into the uh okay. we're gonna drive into the mountain portion of the of the game. And uh, things are a bit different there because the roads don't reach there. I mean, this road that we're on it was only recently added in the director's cut. Yeah. Which we're playing. So you have to rely on something else. You have to rely on the zip lines to get you from place to place. And that is literally building your own highway. In the yeah, mountains. you can put them like anywhere as long as they connect. Jank. A little, it's a falling little apart niche. a little. A little, uh, eh. This, this is heavy with, uh, time fall as well. So Violet and I are very different players when it comes to Death Stranding. Yeah, I made sure I had, uh, full roads before I took Mama up to the mountain knot. He's like, nah. Well, when you say new content, it's not really, you know, so much new content, like, you know, a brand new chapter, an undiscovered third leg of the game. It's, it's just little little things here and there, like, oh, that's new. It's or, quality oh, hey, oh, hey, that's of life great. definitely updates. Yeah. They, they added a racetrack, they added some extra bits, there's uh, hidden Half-Life and Cyberpunk missions, so you can get Valve and Cyberpunk gear and stuff. Just good stuff. So yeah, Violet's very uh, methodical in planning when they play. I Me, mean, I'm a bit more reckless, but I'm, but I, th I like to think I'm a little more efficient too. Sure, I helped him build some of his roads because I couldn't stand watching him struggle. Oh, the, oh, they were begging me. It's like, please, let me play your profile. Let me build you some roads, please. I'm like, uh, you, you go ahead. All right. Can you dress up as Jeff Keith? What? No. That's a shame. That's you right. You can't dress up as anything. That's you. You only have your suit. That's that's right. I almost forgot that Jeff Keeley is in this game. Who? He he's Luden's fan. Oh, he's Luden's fan. That's right. Oh my god, I forgot about that. God, that's like early game. He's like early game. Yeah, he's, he's like, not even in this part of the con country. He's in the first part of the country. Conan is in this map. He yeah. he's known as the Wandering MC, <laughs> but he appears in Cosplayer's Place, and Cosplayer is like, "Oh, hey, thanks, for, uh, thanks for the materials. Oh, by the way, check out this guy. I happened to find him one day, just kind of wandering around, and uh, hey, he's kind of funny. Check him out." And he's like, "Hey, what's up? What's going on here? Hey, Sam Porter Bridge. That's a hey, right?" I think it's a joy. <laughs> This part of the road, oh my god, it took me forever. There was so much material because I'm not on the network here. I don't know how you managed to do that. Uh, that with have, time? That had to have taken days. I, I would have just... See, I would have just driven through it regardless. Nope, can't do it. I would, have, I would have laid down a path. Now, Sam, when I say stop, I mean stop. Another thing that, that differs, you are a big trike user. You always use a motorcycle. Me, trucks, all the way. Yeah, well, trucks are weird. They are shaped a little weird. They're shaped like the Tesla Cyber Trucks. It no, looks, I thought looks... I saw... I did. Oh and my I... god, it's so big! What other cameos are in this game? Uh, let's see. We got uh, the head of Guerrilla Games because the... we're using the Horizon engine, the Decima engine. Is that the director? Yeah, yeah the... No, that's, um... The Collector? First guy outside of, uh, like, the... Like... The Engineer. The Engineer, that's right. The Engineer is the head of Gorilla, and he's voiced by Yuri Lowenthal. Uh, Guillermo del Toro is, of course, a dead man. What did I ruin? Did I ruin that, or something on me? It's either Timefall or something. Maybe you ran it over. 
the collector is the head of Famitsu. Right outside of his house, you can see the uh, mascot for Famitsu Magazine on there. P people say that, oh, of course that Famitsu gets a 10 out of 10 because the creator is in the game, of course. Like, yeah, or maybe it's a damn good video game, you think? How does it feel that it's getting a sequel? Well, like I said yesterday, I can't fucking wait, man. It's gonna be grand. It's kind of what's I revolutionizing. I through the whole trailer. Yeah, that's what's revolutionizing this kick, really. The Death Stranding is getting back into it. Wanna at least, I want to try and get the platinum before the sequel comes out. Yeah, I'm getting close. Other people. Let's see. Hmm. There's a lot of. There's a lot of. Film director is. I. I forget. I forget that guy's name, but he's the guy who's working on the Metal Gear Solid movie. He has like the big beard and everything. The, the chiral artist is basically just some model he found on Instagram that he liked for the <laughs> week, which is very much what Kojima does. No, Sam. It's a stage play of everything in Japan. Have you guys heard of the Steins Gate stage play? Oh yeah. It's a thing of beauty. I got nothing but... When do we find Kiefer Sutherland? <laughs> uh, didn't you know he died at the beginning of... Uh, he died at the end of Metal Gear 1. What? Kiefer Sutherland. Oh, the, the, right. The controversial uh, role change for Solid Snake. When he went from uh, David Hayter to some Hollywood director that Kojima liked because, well, that's how Kojima works. Sam, I'm gonna need you to quit punching things. Just get on it. Alright, so what are we doing here? Are we just uh, adding more stuff to things? Yeah, I'm gonna go... Why did you get special alloys? Because it's... Is that for the zip lines? Yeah, that's for the zip lines. Okay. I'm trying to put all this stuff on my back. Nothing on my back. It just... Nope. Whoa. If I go too far away from my bike that has my stuff on it, it'll disappear. So I'm trying to get all of it. It's hard to tell uh, where that threshold is. Yeah, I don't really know, and I don't want to find out, because that's a lot of stuff I just carried. It's a lot of guesswork. But I feel like I need to, you know, go a ways away before it's like, oh, it's gone. Wait, doesn't it warn you first? Because there, there's a not thing. in the middle. If I'm in the middle of a zip line and then I make it to the other side, oh, well, it's fucking gone. Yeah, I mean if you're halfway through. Yeah. It, it's... I don't want to guess. I don't want to do that guesswork. <laughs> I'm not doing it. Yeah, it's a good thing that Kojima didn't work with cars. I think we would have worked with the uh, Mater being a drivable truck. Well, hi there, Sam Porter Bridges. Where are you going to today? You gotta watch out for them mules. Oh, ooh, I can't get that medals. Yeah, right? <coughs> what? Death Stranding is a cool game. It wasn't a game I thought I'd enjoy until I actually played it. Right. It's like, you know, I trust Kojima and all that, but this game was like, what is this? I'm not quite sure what is it. Like, it's, it could be anything. What is it? And then when it evolved into this delivery uh, system, it's like, oh, this is actually, this is actually fantastic. And then when you're connected to the gameplay loop, you get connected to the to the storyline. <laughs> Larry the Cable Guy is the first revealed character. <laughs> Should we have connected? <laughs> I 
Yeah, Sam's like, so you want me to connect you to the chiral network? And he's like, yep, get her done! looks like Aaron Hill's portrait. Looks like he's just seen some shit, man. Oh, he is just a butthead. Uh, uh, another point for trucks. You see how all your stuff has damage on it? You don't have that problem with trucks, you see. Yeah, you do. Because it's covered. No, you still get rain through the freaking truck. How? I know. That's always been a thing. I'm like, how? There's it's windows. Never been, it hasn't been. Yep, it still takes damage. And besides, that's why I have, uh, this stuff. Yeah. And now you're wasting it. Some expert you are. Well, maybe I want to waste it. I can just recycle it, though. Well, I mean, you are the expert, so. Yeah, leave me alone. Uh, ooh. Your weight? No, brother. Our weight for Ishin is almost over. What is it? Uh, I guess I gotta start saying Like a Dragon Ishin is coming out next month. <gasps> it's gonna be, it's I gonna be, wait. it's gonna be, it's gonna be, oh, it's, it's gonna, gonna be. be, it's gonna be, it's gonna be, Alright. Cameo for Death Stranding 2. You can pick anybody to be in Death Stranding 2. Probably as a prepper to make it make it um, simple. Hmm. Look, I got this one little sliver with him. Thank James Roll. James Roll. Like he just you know just talk like you know regularly, but yeah. I'd know. You'd know. I know. We'd real. know. We'd know. I, yeah, I'd want to see him. Oh, it's February? Ah, oh, damn. I thought it was January. What's January again? I thought someone was coming in January. I don't know. Fire Emblem and Gage. That's all uh, I can think of. Geologist? I'm not sold on that. Not yet. No, I gotta go I gotta go here so we can do this. We gotta go uh discover a new area. We have to dare I say, discover a new world. <gasps> A new state! Order assigned. Alright. Time to go up into the mountains for real now. Okay. Heh, <laughs> mountain climbing. Gotta say. Peak Death Stranding. Peak Death Stranding, really. <laughs> oh, BB's having fun. Yeah. Not enough caps lock on that new world there, my guy. Ah, oh, you're, you're right. <clears throat> new world! <laughs> there we go. By the way, I finished it. The New World compilation is complete. About four minutes. Four minutes, eh? A little over four minutes. That's insane. Yeah. Hartman's Lab, my favorite place. <laughs> I think this is my next move I have to do. What? If I create a zipline highway over to Roboticist over here... I'm not going to the Roboticist. That's back that way. Well, either way. I need to have Hartman's Lab be a sort of hub for some of my ziplines. Yeah, it kind of is for me. I can go anywhere 
near the lake where I have it. Yeah, I mean, there's a there's usually a safe house right by where he is. So. You can see where the line is of the state. And it, it, as you can see by Sam's face, he is enjoying every second of this. Every second. Feel the joy. Feel the magic. Feel <laughs> the excitement. Man, everybody's just throwing everything down here. Right? You think this is a subtle, uh... Subtle nod to environmentalism. Yeah. This, See, this, pla bike. this place used to be beautiful, then humans came and put their toys everywhere. Now it's all Get dirty and gross. Was never in Silent Hill, it was in Silent Hills. Good to see you safe and sound. Wow, can't say I was expecting such a sizable delivery. Might have to slide a few things around. That, not that I mind. I forgot who the paleontologist was, or if he even was anybody. I don't think he was. Oh, solid 2000. Here. Oh my god, why did you give me something so big? It's lightweight, though. It's not really. Oh, wait, oh, you know what? It's fine. Yeah, if it's right in your back, it's fine. Santa Porter Bridges. Yeah. Sam. What? Die Hardman. Head to the distro center south of Lake Knot City and pick it up when you can. Shh. All right. New area. All Let's right. go. This is the big. Uh, oh God. <laughs> the big mission here. We gotta. <coughs> what was it? We gotta get something from there and take it to the Evo Devo Biologist. Yeah. So I kind of like already scouted out a little, there. you know, what path that I can follow. Right, yeah, we scouted ahead. We won't have anything in the Chiral Network to help us. It's just going to be a straight up hike. Yep. And we're going to avoid the ghosties. Well, I mean, until here, I can go. Now, this one has gotten a little smug in their Death Stranding skills, but now here, that's, uh, now that you're in front of God and everyone, let's do it. Let's see it. I can do this. Easy. Why am I taking things? Maybe you gotta get more. Or something. What? Maybe you should read the order. Yeah, let's do that. So I was playing craps the other day. One of them flew and hit me right in the eye. Ah, oh, God! Hey, man, you okay? And I was like, oh, yeah. Ugh. Die hard, like man. All but I'm getting five, so there's what? Isn't there like a... You can, you can hear the, the, the briefing on it or something? Yeah, cargo's being sent to the pants. I reach for it. <laughs> oh. oh i thought i was getting all five i'm just getting one and i gotta go okay. get the other four okay i'm like what is going I on right see. now i see okay i'm gonna get that too i already have an oxygen mask all right Let's go into the unknown. Well, 
So, I'm playing Mega Man 5, right? And I got to that one robot boss, and he took, he took me a while, but then I finally defeated him. And I shouted, DIE, HARD MAN! You don't belong in this world? I don't think I got the game right. I think, I th <laughs> I th I think Hard Man was Mega Man 5. If I got my, mo my robot masters right. Good it kept my path. Alright, so your scouting ahead is good. Doesn't seem to be snowing over here all that much. But now we are off the network! Off the network! Here we go! I gotta go into like BT territory. It's gonna be scary! Yeah, we're getting to the part where, you know, the BTs are, like, mutating into different versions. Yeah, there's, like, red BTs over here. I don't know if that's because I'm on hard or not. This has been pleasant so far. Nothing too bad. Yeah. Nothing to it. Yeah, this is great. Look, th there it is, even. Yeah, there it is, even. W weather, you say that yeah, right now. Weather's perfect. Do you it's not just, see that? Just looking great. It's, yeah, it's it's it's, it's, a, it's a light snow. Just right there in front of us. Nothing to it. Uh huh. So yeah, so yeah, you can just uh, hop on in there and grab <laughs> this, and we can get out of here. Oh no! Immediately. Let's go. Well, clearly you stepped into the wrong area. I'm sure if you go into that haunted quarry, it'll be fine. I mean quarry, it'll be fine. Oh my freaking god, okay. I think red BTs are, like, immune to, uh... Why are there so many? They're spread all <laughs> oh. over the fucking place. Well, off you go. Mr. Expert, go okay, for it. Here I go. But yeah, I think red VTs are immune to like uh, grenades and handguns and stuff like that. I don't. Jesus! I think you can still cut their cords though, and it yeah, gets, it gets I think like you can. gives you stupid power uh, crystals. Oh, look, you can even see them. It's fine. You're good. Let's do it. It's just right there. You just go get it. So, if you're at home and you're having a really hard time with these BTs, like having just the worst possible time that a time haver could ever have, what you can do is you can get caught by the BTs and then get to the edge of wherever, you know, the, the big gigantic thing is at. And then, uh, when you escape, they'll go away for a little while, leaving you free to roam the area. That's a big BT. Uh, I'm pretty sure Holy he will. Holy shit! I am pretty sure he will kill you if he sees you. Oh my god, oh my god. Okay, okay. Oh my god. He's huge. Shit. So there are three different grenades that you can do as well, and I'm not sure what they all do. They all do different things, but there are EX Grenade Zero, which is Why? Norman Reedus' Dirty Shadow Water. EX Grenade 1, which, if you can imagine, is his piss grenades. And then EX Grenade number 2, which is, of course, his excrement. They all do different things to BTs, like attracting them and detracting them and hurting them and all that. Because Sam's blood works differently and it reacts to the BTs because he's really tied to the original Death Stranding. But what are BTs? They're ghosts. They're basically ghosts. Yeah. Hyper simplified their oh, of their ghosts. <laughs> now, is there seriously one by this ginormous BT? 
So I'm just saying, if if Norman Reedus ends up in a in a Dior commercial for perfume, I'm going to have questions about what the perfume actually is. How's it hanging, RPG dude? It sounded dirty. How's it going, RPG dude? Oh my god! Yeah, he's a big boy. He's a big boy. And he's not liking that. Lou ain't liking that, man. I don't man. give a shit what Lou thinks! She'll just do you. Oh, you could have cut the cord! Where? There was a prompt for it. How do I do that? There, right there, right there. Square! No! Oh, no! Uh oh. Well, here we go. No, 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 no. Oh, my God. Oh, no. <laughs> Hi, I'm Norman Reedus. Setting yourself with my piss. But don't worry, it'll keep you safe from ghosts. Who are you gonna call? Sam Strand. Get the fuck off me, man. <laughs> Wait, that that works? Yes. Outstanding. Oh, I made a little mushroom. Yeah, the more people pee on it, the bigger it gets. So you can, of course, imagine the gigantic fungal forests that are by Conan O'Brien's place. Well, so... <sighs> okay. Well, we're doing okay so far with Death Stranding. I mean, you can see how things are going. They're going great! Well, let's try this again. That's a big ol' handprint. Big ol' handy print. Oh, Big mean handprint. That's another big boy. Probably the same big boy. Thought maybe I'd get the prompt again. Nah, that was the guy who probably caught you. I, th I think you press square. When Norman wasn't uh, aligned just right, and he just did a nice yeah. punch. I'll tell you, I have caused many an alert and many a Metal Gear Solid because of that. No, Snake, don't stand up. Shit. Yeah. Okay. We're okay. We're okay. It's fine. Shh, shh, shh. It's okay. It's okay. Shh, shh. Quiet, <laughs> okay. Sorry. Sorry. What do you say? Quiet, dumbass. Ooh. Holy fuck! One more, I think. One or two more. Oh, for fuck's sake. One more, and that guy is giving you the stink eye. He is very much giving me the stink eye. This is a Please. weird episode of Danny Phantom. Hey look, that's Norman Reedus' perfume. <laughs> Not only will it make you smell good, it'll remove the rust from your buckets. Oh god! <laughs> Like coke and toilets. A little bit of touch up on your car. It's okay. It's okay, baby. Please. Oh my god. I'm okay. good. I'm okay. good. So I have we're a. We're good. We're fine. We're I, okay. We're just peachy. I have a kink for management games. Yeah, I do too. That's why I love this game. Maybe it's because I want to have the power of management without any of the, uh, you know, 
liability to it. That dude's giving me the stink eye as well. That's why I like Papers, Please so much. That's why I like Punch Club. That's why I love Cook, Serve, Delicious. Pick it up. And I think that's why I like Death Stranding so much, because there's, a, there, there's like this management thing attached to it, because I'm basically running Samazon Prime. Yeah. Okay, once I get back up here, it's fine. It's fine. Alright. So, hard part's over. Yep, yep. Now we gotta go to the next hardest part, escape. Sort of. Hard part was finding all of the packages in this BT area. The second hardest part is right now, which is escaping from the BT area. And then the third hardest part, which is actually the least easiest, God, is to actually get to the Evo Devo biologist. Oh, you could have cut the cord again. It's fine. Yeah! Got it. Ooh. Time for perfume for when you really want to have that mature feeling. Now I'm good. I should be good now. Let's fucking go. I think I might have damaged one of them when I when I got captured by the BP, but it's fine. Well, then again, the container probably got damaged. Well, one, one check your cargo. I mean, I could, but it's fine. You know, ba -da -da -da. Sam, Damn. the cargo menu has a lot of interesting information. It can tell you everything about the cargo that you're currently holding. And to see whether you've damaged anything or not. Why don't you give it a look? Where are you going? I'm going to the Evo Devo Biologist. It looked like you were going back for a second. No. Let me do this. Time fall becomes regular water after hitting the ground. Really? Is that, is that what happens? No. I would have thought it's always time fall. That's why the snow is so deadly. Yeah. There's no lakes or anything. It's all... You can't get in that stuff. There are no lakes. Well, th yeah, there's rivers. Yeah, there are. There's rivers. The whole area between uh, the, dist the distro center to Mountain Knot and Mountain Knot City. It's... Okay. I mean, it's not common. It's not like we got rushing water, except the gigantic waterfall that's running outside. Hmm. You know what we need? We need a dang sequel is what we need. Right? Beginning scan. Scanning bridges ID. So much untapped potential still left in this world. your stuff. Hey, this is great. Where's my drink? <laughs> my drink? My diet, Dr. Kelp? Well, I did. Not a scratch on it. And the tar inside is safe and secure. Wait. You do not tar. My friend. I could have left it out in the fucking rain and it would have been fine. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh no. It's okay. It's okay. not like it was a premium order or anything. I'm sorry, is this not a premium client? We want to make a good first impression so that way they get on the network. Oh look, I still got a sawsome. <laughs> How am I supposed to enjoy this cargo without my drink? <laughs> now, that's where my studies will truly begin. UCA pizza is the pizza for you. <laughs> the chiral crab pizza. Chiral crab pizza. <laughs> Hey, SpongeBob, we need to get those likes! <laughs> they're part of the chiral network. Everyone's kind of sheltered away. Yeah, they're underground and stuff yeah. in the bunkers. So they use the, the chiral network to appear as holograms to communicate safely without getting killed and attacked by BTs that create void outs. If you get caught by a BT and you get eaten by one of them, 
it blows up and it's basically a, 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 a Kyokan. Like a nuke. It's, it's a Kyokan five times nuclear explosion, basically. See the door back the there? Effect. Yeah, that's where they are. This is, 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 is a bunker. They're preppers. Yeah. Extinction fact. These are the seeds of advancement and obsolescence. Such factors may lie dormant within us all. A choice waiting to be made for every being since the advent And what's cool, you know, it hasn't happened to Violet or I yet, but if a dead body does get eaten by a BT, because if you kill, like, one of the terrorists out there, and you leave it alone, a BT will find it yeah. and eat it and blow up part of the map. Yeah, if it goes into, like, to necrosis. For, like, a good chunk of, a, of the game, like, probably a few hours or so, probably six hours, yeah. I'd say, there is a big gaping hole right there. But you can shoot BTs, you can cut their umbilical cords, you can just run from them, you can uh, blur them away. But usually you just avoid them. Yeah, sometimes when I'm doing something like that, I'll just run into a BT automatically just so I can fight them. And then it'll just clear the whole area. I can go through it. There's no BTs anywhere. Or you build roads, you build zip lines, and you don't even give the BTs a second thought ever again. Thank you, Hartman. You're my favorite. Ooh, look at my, my skeleton. Yeah, you should get a you should get an all terrain one. I don't want one of those. Ooh. Grenade launcher. But again, you don't want to kill anybody. It's very bad. <laughs> yeah, no. Director's cut adds a lot of uh, other things you can make too. I don't know what the full list is, but there's a lot of stuff here that wasn't here before, I'm sure. See, I like the power skeleton because it holds a lot. I like the all-terrain skeleton because they can actually walk through snow. I'm going through snow with this. No, you trudge through snow. Yeah, I, and then I, I make a path. I walk through it. And then I make a path. I don't need a path. You know my what? skeleton makes my path. Oh, please. My skeleton that's uh, enhanced by chiral arts and uh, you're, you just, you just got to... Well, oh, man. It looks like you put pillows next to your bones. Like shh, my legs are sleeping. I'm gonna let my scout my I'm gonna let my pet my power skeleton do all the work. Yeah. Well, I played robotics notes. You know what those things did to, to this one lady? It killed her. Oh yeah. Well, same with uh. Oh, what was his name in? Is it Metal Gear Solid Five? Oh, Huey. Huey, yeah. Huey getting his leg broken. Yeah. Well, God. What was that, that was about? Hard Ko to watch. What was that about, Kojima? That was hard to watch. Also, what's with putting a bomb in a lady's cooch? That's that's kind of messed up. Yeah, that was fucked. Didn't like that part either. That was, that was weird. Maybe not do that so much in the sequel. How's that? Okay. I mean, here we have, uh, you know, minute. here we're basically carrying a fetus around. That's that's Thank enough, you like, yeesh, you know, but you get used to it and it just becomes part of you. But yeah, fuck Huey. I mean, he was a dick. Yeah. yeah. Um. Okay, so I want to set up some more zip lines if I can. Yeah, I can. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I remember how fucking hung up he was on Doctor Strange. Love. It's like, oh wow, she's so beautiful and so smart. I gotta, I gotta be with her. <laughs> Where is that one? Okay, here's that one. That is far. Contribution. Alright, so she's on the network. It's all good. Typically when you bring an order like this to someone, they get you two full stars, which one star gets you onto the network but they they're not part of the uca which means eh, you know right. we're not really on your side yet you can't do anything here yet but you can like you know build stuff around my house and shit and two stars is okay part of the uca three stars means hey you know i'm glad that we have a good relationship 
Four stars means that they call me and say and tell me how much of a good job I'm doing. Five stars, that's how you get the nudes. Sure. Hey, don't laugh until you see elders. Oh no, but he's dead. Yeah, this one's from a week ago. <laughs> get the heck out of here. Where is her? Sam. There you go, speed demon. You just hold down. What? So you so you hold you hold L2 and you press it down to switch the structures. It's usually the second one from the post box. There you yeah, go. Yeah, I just did that. See, it's funny we call him uh, Die Hard Man, because the thing is, he cries like a baby at the end. Oh my god, he does. In a very emotional career-defining yeah, performance. Yeah, I like cried because of it, but... It, it made me really, you know, it's like, wow, Tommy Earl Jenkins is really good. <laughs> I think I like this guy. Oh, and he's the mayor in Wednesday. Yeah, and it's really funny is that uh, we, we were watching Wednesday, you know, get into that too, and he's the mayor of the town in there. <laughs> yeah. So, of course, rattling off Death Stranding references the entire time. Yeah. Da -da -da -da. Excuse me, I need to Wednesday. take this. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> We're like, cry hard, man. Yeah. Cry hard, man. Then again, that could have all been an act when he was crying to us like that. True. He could have been sly, hard man. <laughs> Guillermo del Toro's character is my favorite of the characters. Dude, Guillermo del Toro is my favorite. Yeah. Period. My favorite. <laughs> Just watched uh, his Pinocchio uh, oh movie last night. His uh, his his stop motion Pinocchio. It's like they're showing off. I cry. It's like oh, it's stop motion. Check out how fucking amazing it is. Like dear God, I I forgot half the time that it was stop motion. It's beautiful. It's a wonderful thing. Oh. oh. Yes, BB, thank you. Well, I don't care, Niskul. We're going to be in a pun battle. You trying to butt to, to wheeze your way out of it? I'm not gonna let it fly, hard man. Oh! That wasn't very that. funny. I think that joke was kind of dry hard, man. Oh! <laughs> oh, hello, cat! Our cat's come to visit. Give him a little, little shout out here. Oh, baby's having a time. So how is uh, making these puns for you? Is it is it difficult for you? I mean, I don't mean to pry hard, man. You know, with, with making up puns, it's just oh. it's just wordplay. It's just finding words, locating a word that connects to it, and then make the make the ends meet. I don't think I have enough. 
fan. Nope, I don't. I use exactly. <laughs> it's fine. I can take a. I mean, I'm an expert on this subject. I got my degree from DeVry Hard Man. Ooh! How am I supposed to. More recovery? I hate the recoveries. It's like, I just want to keep going on with my with my route. I don't want to, like... That's a lot of shit. I guess I can take the geologist. Go to the geologist now. Which I do have zip lines. Safe travels. Weapon restrictions lifted. Well, that was a very good effort, Niskel. But I have to give you a score. I give you a score of 3.141592653529. <laughs> Pi hard man. Yes, thank you, baby. <laughs> I, I won. You totally won. God damn. <laughs> what you heard there was an encore. <laughs> oh no, not the elder. Huh? A zip line in the vicinity of the elder is gonna get ruined. Oh no, not near there where I don't ever go to anymore. Nobody visits it. it yeah, nobody visits the Elder anymore. As soon as he died, I was like, alright, bye. Yeah, like in real life. <laughs> <laughs> alright, bye. <laughs> if you listen closely, you may have heard him yell goddamn from his apartment for that one. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> So this is the decimate engine. Did Aloy have trouble climbing rocks? Um, depends. She only climbed the rocks that were designated for her. So I don't know if it's a decima thing that he has a problem with ledges, or if it's just Sam being Sam. It's Sam. I've only done that once and it was a mistake. <laughs> like, oops, or oh god. That was... Oh god, that was a mistake. I had a bunch of stuff and just went <laughs> rolling down the hill. Ooh. Why is there a truck right here now? It's a Chevy. It's a Chevy at the geologist, you know why? Like a rock! Oh, like a rock! <laughs> oh, good. Look, he's 
judging me with looking at me. It's like, he oh, does look like you. he's judging you. He looks like a crypto bro, too. It's Give like, me all of them. It's like, we believe the blockchain is the next oh step for the chiral God. network. And with these chiral NFTs, you too can be a part of chiral history. He doesn't even have a name. He's just the geologist. Tell me, uh, do you have any... He's giving me now. It's some Ethereum I have lying around. Ceramics? What do I need ceramics up here for? Well, it's high density, which means that for a small package, you get a lot of them. But I don't need them up here. We'll take them somewhere where you do! I need to get a, a line of the roboticist. I'm thinking I can do that from Hartman's, though. Should be able to. It's just right over the bend, right? Right. Okay, so I have... Hmm. I have that main one here that I where I put yours that one time. Mm -hmm. And then I have one up here. Is that guy named Zoids? Yeah. Where? The zip line. Zoids 416. Zoids. Wow. But I have one right here. And then up here. And then to here, right in front of the the hot spring, and I just go right around. So yeah, it's up over that mountain. <laughs> that shouldn't be too hard, right? It's not yeah. that hard. There's no BTs in the area, so Yes. I hate these jump things! Yeah, the jumping ramps are one of the things that they added to uh, the director's cut. And it's basically just a bridge that they sawed in half. You know, I sawed this bridge in half! Yeah, they're... <laughs> Another thing that they added was the, uh, the cargo catapult. Which is fucking useless. It takes your, your cargo, oh God, right. hurls it off in a random direction, and of course, this is Kojima with his wonderful, beautiful physics engine, so it's never the exact same place the whole time. So you still gotta go all the way fuck over there, you still gotta find him, and then get damaged, so I even have him in the first place. Please, Aaron. Please. I'm begging you, Aaron. Give me the five stars. So the larger, uh distribution centers in the actual cities they are very stingy when it comes to giving you full marks they fucking kill me dude like which makes sense because you're going to be going to them the most frequently and yeah, they're the easiest like, to get to yeah, so there's like thousands of people there so you don't want to five star them too quickly especially when they have the most amount of orders that they can send it to other preppers yeah that's the point but i really think that my efforts should be rewarded for the distance, amount, and and danger that danger, I had to go really? through. It's like I went from the mountaintop here, and I drove through all the way through the highway, went through two terrorist camps, and it's like almost a ton of ceramics. And he gives me a little sliver. And I got it to you in six minutes. I basically drove from Montana to Iowa in, in six, six minutes! minutes. <laughs> and you want to give me a little tiny sliver of credit for it? Yeah. I don't, oh, oh, there's a red one. There's, there's a, a red, red one. one. Avoid that guy. You can see him, but you oh, can't kill him. Ugh. See, I had to go through a dangerous red BT field as well. I did. I had to. I walked around that dude to put a zip line. I was terrified. You're telling me it's only worth a little smidgen? Are you serious? Climbing this thing too, up from uh, the doctor's department's. Oh, what a bitch! The climb all the way up this, with all these cliffs. 
Another uh, great thing about this game is just the constant positive reinforcement that it gives you. Oh yeah. Other players are giving you likes all the time for stuff that you that you make. Every time you go and deliver an order, they're like, Oh, this looks wonderful. Thank you so much. You're making a real difference. You are drowning in likes just from just doing barely anything. Everyone's just so happy to see you always. Everyone's always, you know, it's like, Hey, keep on keeping on. You got this. Good work today. Yeah, how many do I have? That is like a... F over 560 like, thousand likes. Yeah. That is a far cry from the games of yesteryear where they used to make fun of you dweeby gamers. Yeah, and you, if you didn't do something correctly. They used to insult you for playing video games. It's like, come on, don't you have anything better to do with your time? Maybe the implication was that, you know, you're... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're doofy, stupid gamers, but no, not you. You're cool. You can do better than those, do than those dweebs. Come on, Aaron. I'm begging you, Aaron. Please. It is kind of anti-nihilistic, isn't it? It really is about coming together and all that, and you know, you gotta compromise. You gotta, yeah. you gotta, you gotta go through hurdles and all that. He's always telling me this stupid bullshit too. Tough journey as always. Oh, you're an inspiration. Let me give you the littlest sliver. Should I have an easy journey then? Would that make it easier? We have yeah, the, the theme of you know coming together, bringing everybody closer. Yeah. That could be that could be something. Come on, Aaron. Please, Come Aaron. Come on. Come on. Keep an eye. Yeah, hey! Aaron. My God, I've been waiting for see like, I call, years. You see, I called him out on it. And he's like, all right, fine. Ooh. I get all the good stuff. What have you missed? Well, we've been delivering packages and just, just uh, kind of chilling out. Chilling out, hanging out, maxing out, relaxing. All yeah, there, stuff. all the people in, like, all the preppers and the distro center people, they're all wearing Santa hats. This Guess what, what? This is what you get for getting five this stars. This is my 24th star. This oh, wait, it's 25. Merry Christmas. 25 Two. stars. Absolutely excellent. What I what I love about this game is, you know, whenever you get five stars for a distro center, you get a star for it. And if you look at the model, it is on there. Well, I mean, yeah. Yep. You can see the stars on his, on, on his, on his dress. Stars. That is, that is like so cool. Your progress is always shown, basically. Yep. I love that. Look at that, my stars. So great. Now. Just like, oh, oh, what's that? Two Michelin stars? Three Michelin stars? <laughs> Try 25! Let's do some more of her, because I just need... I've already did that one. I know, but there's nobody else, I don't think. For a photographer? Alright, we gotta go to the map for that. Yeah. Meanwhile, another another uh, another guy's like, hey, do you mind? Get get out of the way. I got it. Excuse me. Um, ooh, we yeah, we can go to the cosplayer. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know if we'll see him, but does the cosplayer have any uh anything that needs delivered? I don't know. Mountain Knot has something for... Mountain Knot has a couple. Has a one for the... Oh, he has one. But two total. Alright, I'd say hit a Mountain Knot. Then hit up a cosplayer. Are we gonna go see the cosplayer? Oh, well, apparently if you do good enough on this, on this order, you might say, Hey, check it out, it's Sam! Cool guy! Take this thing! Take this thing? Crypto Bio Crisis. Brand new board game. Oh, man. Let's do a premium. And I should be able to get to him if my... I think they're all... 
okay still. My zip lines. Should be. Yep. Um. What does the stars do for you? Just progress or do you get stuff? Uh, yeah, you both. It's both. Whenever you uh, get another star in the five stars, you get a special object. And if, if you get five stars, I think, basically you will get that special item that, that, that they give you every time you clear an order. Yeah, so I get, like, patches for my backpack. You can, like, see them, too. Patches for my backpack. You can get, what, like, little keychains that hang off. For example, different what? colors for your customization of hats and glasses and stuff like that. Hello, Sims Mage. Hey, hey. There's also a trophy attached to it as well. Oh, I think, yes, I, and I think five there's five stars for everybody. I think there's specific males that have specific orders that get you specific things and yep. specific flavor text. It's it's just some to do. You don't have to get five stars and everything. It's just, how good a porter are you, Sam? <laughs> how, how much of America do you believe in, Sam? Do you just want to pop in, do the story missions, and get the fuck out? Or do you want to really stay here and rebuild this country from the ground up? You shouldn't have left it in the road. Oh, oh no! Shouldn't have left it in the road. That's where the native chief turns around and a tear rolls down his eyes as he rolls over another piece of cargo. <laughs> Yeah, you deliver packages, you rebuild roads, you go uh, zip lining in the mountains, there's ghosts everywhere. Uh, sometimes you go to war with a guy. Uh, oh, some God. Sometimes you're a baby in a test tube. Don't even fucking get me started with a cliff. Uh, sometimes you take a shower, take a piss, and take a shit in the same place. <laughs> you know, like in a camper. Sometimes you pee in Conan O'Brien's uh, specific house. Oh, yeah, everybody, you're gonna see just mushrooms and all sorts of shit near his house because we just like the fuck. Yeah, he was on, uh, he was brought onto this because uh, Kojima wanted to bring him in because of his connections to the gaming world. And he was just as baffled as we were. <laughs> He's like, really? Of course, he is one of the only uh, talk show hosts that has that late night uh, appeal to video games because yeah. he, he goes in and plays video games and he goes oh wow this is this is pretty cool it's like yeah isn't it? yeah this is what you do here I think he did with No Man's Sky and a few other things you know making video games seem not so scary to Joe Public I love the landscape so much This first prepper is going to kill me. But then again, out of all the late night talk show hosts they could have put into this game, I'm glad it was Conan O'Brien. Oh, yeah. I would have been like, yeah, okay, if it was like Jimmy Fallon or Jimmy Kimmel. I've been, I would have liked him. Yeah, but it would have been alright. Uh, oh, I was going to call him John Stewart, but it's not John Stewart. Stephen Colbert. Stephen Colbert, yeah. I would have oh. liked him in here, too. Anybody? But... If it's not James Corden, then we're in good hands. James Corden, ugh. How about Graham Norton? Uh, he'd be he funny. would be great. He'd be great in here. <laughs> this road, my God. Col Colbert is. Uh... Did I just get ceramics? I did. Yeah. Uh, Colbert is a little bit of a gamer, but I'd say he's more of like you know a traditional kind of nerd. Because he's more of a Tolkien guy. Yeah. He is the Tolkien guy. His greatest honor was that, what, half second he was in the second Hobbit movie? Yeah. Oh. 
Sam, get on the bike. Look at that. Looks better. So we go to the collectors. And, uh, we're, we're gonna play the joke. We hear him call. It's like, who is it? And Sam goes, it's Paul Rudd. Oh, no. He goes, don't let him in! Don't let him in? Really? No! Eric! If you want to know what that means, look up Conan O'Brien, Paul Rudd, Mac and me, <laughs> and you're going to have your afternoon <laughs> made. That's the best shit I've ever seen. He even did it on his... Uh, he did it on his podcast. Talk show, yeah, his podcast. What, what he does is he uh, goes and, you know, d d gives an interview. He's like, oh, yeah, you know, we're working on this new movie or whatever. You know, doing, doing this, you know, this new role and all that. And he's done it for, what, how long? 20 years now? Yeah. For 20 years. Really long. He fakes him out and swaps it with this, uh, with this clip of Mac and me with this uh, kid in a wheelchair falling down a hill and falling into a, in, into a lake. Yeah, like off a cliff. Off a cliff into a lake. And this E.T. knockoff looking guy going, wow. And the girl in the background, Eric. He and has, that's it. That's the whole clip. He has got him like almost a dozen times over 20 years getting him with this. And he gets him every time. Yeah. Even on the podcast where you don't watch anything. It's, it's like, just you, the You the can't sound. do that. Yeah. And, and it, the podcast is, is one of my favorites because he's saying, you know, it's like, uh, yeah, yeah. Me and, uh, who is it? Uh, uh, Sarah, Jessica, uh, you know. Somebody. Yeah, it's we're, just we're, any, we're we're he's making up names like yeah. he's on this real life show or he's, something. He's like, yeah, yeah, we're starting the show, and you know, uh, my character, you know, he's uh, you know, you know, he's a writer, and he's still looking for this uh, something big, and he's you know, he's going through some stuff, and you know, he he points a relationship, and I really wanted to make a story he's about this. It's been this it's been just like a it's been like a passion project of mine, and then he. <laughs> He says, I, I have an excerpt if you want to hear that. And he's like, oh, yeah, sure. And then he plays a fucking Mac and me thing. He's like, no, no, you can't do that. It, it doesn't work like that. And he's like, yeah, I know, maybe, but you know. Yeah, <laughs> it did work. It worked totally. It's, it doesn't work like that. It's like, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because all you hear is Eric and everybody knows what it is. Conan's like, you're not doing anything. You're not doing anything, are you? He's like, no, I'm not. No, <laughs> he wasn't doing anything. Ugh. <laughs> uh. That's why we all love Conan. <laughs> He's a good sport, that's why. He's a good sport. He's a good yeah, sport. look at all these mushrooms. Look at all these mushrooms. They've started already. <laughs> here's some more up yeah, here. Yeah, there's more. <laughs> I don't know if there's but any see, down here. But see, there's a sun with the sunglasses. You want to know why? Because he's cool. He's cool. Because he's cool, and everybody loves him. It's a pain in the ass to get down here, though. Well, if you want to find Conan, you got, I mean, he, he like only has what, like a, a toenail in the chiral network, basically? This isn't even his house, it's her house. It's Conan's house. Because he's not. Because who the fuck is she? She's the cosplayer. All right. Who is she? The... Move out of the way. Let me see Conan. Let me one... see Conan. She's the one that made us the otter thing. Not him. Yeah, we don't get to see Conan because it's not. I really appreciate you bringing me Her pants look comfy. Her pants look comfy. Yeah. We should get a new star. That should be another uh, appearance. Maybe. Oh please. Oh, I got a utility pouch. That's nice. Hey. Yes. Hey. Ooh, large grenade. I don't need that. Hey. Hey. Oh, hey. wondering if seen. Cool. Are you gonna see him? Let me see Conan. Come on. I hope you'll come again. Boo! Oh, oh come on. I'm sorry. Oh, come on. I thought we would see him. Come yeah. out here, man. <laughs> Conan! Conan! Let me in, please! Really? So how about you uh, take this back to the photographer, and, and then, then we can do the mystery. And game. then we we'll move on to the mystery game. The only hint I'm going to give you is that it also 
starts with the word death. That's all I'm telling you. Are you fucking serious? I am fucking serious. It also starts with the word death. You know... I don't know. You don't know? Well, good. I'm glad you don't know. It would be a surprise. For everybody. You know, it is not death smiles. No shmups. No, no anime shmups. Which, yeah, not for me. What's the difference between death smiles and Toho? I can't find one. They're both a bunch of little girls flying around shooting bullets, and I don't know what's happening. <laughs> I parked right in the middle of just a bunch of my. Yeah, it's muddy here. I already played Deathmark. I may repeat myself, but I never repeat myself. And I certainly don't repeat myself. Is it that... Is it new? Didn't you just get that? Hmm? The mystery game? I love that you can see the... Look at that road in the mountain. Oh, yeah. Wow. It's a snaking strand. You would have think that maybe Kojima has, like, saw all these highways out in the out in the west coast, and he's like, oh, yeah, I gotta make a game like this. Oh, yeah, man. The roads look like that. What the fuck is Death End Request, anyway? I don't... I have no idea what it is. It feels like that, they, that a lot of anime fighting games just throw some words together and call it a day. Like, Melty Blood. What can't you do? Melty Blood? Is it implying blood is solid? There's a boiling point of blood, but a melting point? I mean, it's already kind of like... It's already... All blood is melty! It's an RPG? I w it's an RP... What? It starts with death. Right, not dead. Then why were there characters from that in fucking like that tag that tag battle you tried to get me to play once? Cross tag battle, blaze blue, something or other. It's like blaze blue, ruby characters, persona characters, and under no, it was no no no, it was under night in birth. That's what I'm thinking. Of. Like, another series where they just throw a whole bunch of words together. Under night in birth. What the what? <laughs> what a jumble. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, all of you are wrong. All of you are way, 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 way off. And it's going to be a lovely surprise. And I can't wait. I have waited years for this. Death Note game, right? Oh no! Well, the only Death Note game I can think of it is... Keeps telling me that. There's none. The, the only Death Note game I can think of is Castlevania Judgment. Because the art was done by the artist for Death Note. Mm -hmm. And that's a, ca that's a Castlevania fighting game, so it essentially is an anime fighting game. These ones do scare me though, because look how they just hang. Our roads for real don't look like this. They're on the ground. I wonder if there were like rails to start out with. And we were it, running into them because everybody was like, nah, I don't like this. Yeah, because then you can't get off whenever you want to. This offers an errant challenge at least. It's like all right, you think you're a big boy driver? Don't fall off the edge yeah, now. Yeah, don't fall off. Pay attention. Don't text and drive. Yeah, really. We don't talk about judgment. No, no, no. We don't talk about judgment. But it was for the Nintendo Wii.
Hey, you're all still way off. <laughs> what are some of the things? <laughs> uh, Death and Taxes, some recent indie game. Dragon Quest XI is uh, the best one, by the way. You want to get a Dragon Quest XI is the best one, hands down. Probably the cheapest, too. It's impossible to get a lot of other Dragon Quest games nowadays. I'm still trying to think. I don't know. <laughs> oh, shouldn't have left it in the road. Yes, death. It's the Atari 2600 game. That's just, you know. It's a, it's just, it's like an Arkanoid clone, but like with a Halloween theme over it. Death Loop. Good, good, uh, good guess, but nope, not that one. Death Loop. That's right. That's a that that that's a great that's a great guess actually. Wrong though. Very wrong. Very very wrong. Death fills third. <laughs> <laughs> we already did that one. And we'll never, ever do it again. Death Magnetic? No, that's Metallica. That's a Metallica album. No, we're not playing Guitar Hero Metallica. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know if my guitar still works. Oh, Batteries have probably exploded in the water. <laughs> probably exploded. Wait, where am I going? Talk Console? Oh, no, no, no. That's that's too big a hint. That's, yeah, he won't even tell me that. Nope, I'm, I didn't even tell Violet the console. That's all you, all you got is death. And you're all wrong. Like, hyper wrong. Like, hyper wrong? Here, because death is such a common uh, word in video game titles, you don't even think about this game. It's Death Stranding 2! I got a, I got an advanced copy! Yeah. Oh my god, really? That's advanced, <laughs> advanced. Well, actually, I could just get both my copies of Death Stranding and call it Death Stranding 2. You know, because there's two of them. Which one? Uh, it's old, but it's... Less but don't think too old. Deathly Hollows, Harry Potter. That's, that's good. That's no. a fair guess, but... When I do think of Harry Potter, I do think of death, yes. Uh, death of a franchise, yeah. Death of my sanity. Now that Twilight's over, I can go to hating Harry Potter full time. Can I even look at Twilight with some respect now? No. no, no, no. Let's not be Let's not, let's not go that let's, far. Let's not go crazy here, okay. Oh, my leg! Oh, God, my leg! Goddamn leg! Yes, hello, yes, I'm coming. I went so far before, and you saw me, and then... I trip on that little lip that's right outside, and I just like. The car goes everywhere. Oh, sorry, Sam. I should have put up a wet floor sign, don't you know? Oh, God. If he makes me play Kingdom Hearts, I'm just gonna kill everything. Oh. Well. I'd, I'd have to watch them play it too, and I'd die too. I don't want to die. Ugh. Oh, you! Oh, uh, look! Look! Oh, look! I got I got you some resins. I got you some. What am I gonna use resins for? Resinal things. Well, hope you all enjoyed this 
this delightful little tasting of Death Stranding. Then kind of knocking around the idea of a, of a possible let's play with Violet here. I mean, if anybody, yes. if anybody could do it, I think we could. Maybe even oh, like a, yes. maybe like a stream series. I don't know. We'll see what 2023 brings. But uh, hey, so uh, start from the beginning. So I'm gonna have you close your eyes now. Wait, let me say. They just, yeah. It's time for me to reveal the next game to Violet. Then for you guys a little later. Because uh, you guys got to hear this reaction. All right. Here you are. Why? <laughs> no! <laughs> I have been waiting years to play this with you. Ever since it I found stinks. out about it. It stinks, though. Well, let's show off why. We're going to take a small break, and we'll be right back. <laughs> Stay tuned. All right. Okay. Here we go. It's time. Ugh. This is such a poopy game. This controller feels so weird. I know, it's gonna be weird going from the five back to the two. Ugh. But I've wanted to talk about this game for, oh, years now. <clears throat> and you know, this was such a comfortable controller when it came out. It was like, ooh, yeah, this feels so great. And then they kept getting better. And then the, the three came out with the, ooh, they got the triggers in the back. That yeah. feels nice. Oh my god, this doesn't. <gasps> and then and then the four came out, and it's like, oh wow, this feels great. It, it's not going to get better than this. And then the five came out, and it says, well, I guess they did. Caution, this game contains graphic and violent scenes. This game is rated uh -oh. M for blood, intense violence, language, and suggestive themes. Project Nina! Yeah. <laughs> Colonel, this is Nina. God, <laughs> are they underwater? Yeah. It's the death stranding. Oh, that's really dark. Let me see if I can fix that. <clears throat> oh my lord! I don't need to see that. Ten trillion tons of mayhem. That's a lot. Whoa! Action packed. Soundtrack's not bad. Well, sure. Tech and stuff. It's like, hey, you know the, the super awesome story in Tekken? Well, let's make a game about that. That's okay, thanks. Yeah, I wish it was just like the own fight. Not, it's more. So I found out about this game from G4 of all places. Because this game this came around 2004, and that's about the height of G4 Tech TV, basically. I found out about this game, and then I found out that Violet really liked Nina Williams from Tekken. And I figured, well, hey, they got a whole game about Nina Williams. This would be a great idea for a birthday gift one year. If only the game didn't suck. Oh my god, I played like. Why is this It's intro still going, man! So long! It's just gonna show me the whole damn game? Really? It's showing like all the freaking characters. They were, they were fighting sweaty guys in the underground ring in Kamurocho? I guess. The ultimate oh, assassin. Sorry, I should have mentioned that earlier. Ooh, make your heart explode. That's apparently a mechanic. You can make like bones break yeah. and explode and all that. Oh, it looks great. Oh, oh my goodness! <laughs> that 
might be my old PlayStation or it could be this uh, up converter. Maybe, look, look, why don't we why don't we go ahead and uh, yeah why is this intro so freaking long Tekken Mina Williams is death by degrees everybody <laughs> if we fight Gary Buster Holmes though I'm gonna lose my shit now loading now loading Loading. Loading for a long time. This is really dark. Um. And I'm trying to figure out. December 5th, 1945. Weather conditions. Steve Blue? <coughs> Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Flight 19 departed from the U.S. Naval Air Station at Fort Lauderdale on a routine training flight and headed east over the Atlantic. At approximately 1900 hours, all contact with Flight 19 was lost. Weird. This region, roughly bound by the Florida Peninsula, the Bermuda Archipelago, and the island of Puerto Rico, has been the site of over 100 disappearances. The Bermuda Triangle, the Devil's Sea. 12 of these mysterious regions purportedly exist throughout the world. Yeah, yeah. We don't know anything about them except that there are 12 of them. Well, they we never... know about them now. There could be 15. There could be 19. There could be 82. It could be a shipping container. What? Oh, we're in the water. No, okay, now we're above the clouds. Whoa. Hey, movies and games do this. Yeah can't stay in one spot because they just want to glean as much information as they can to the player or viewer. What does this have to do with anything? What the most shit? Oh! You about to die? This is so... Oh, this is so bad early 2000s TV. Yeah. Like, it looks like a bad episode of NCIS or something. Ooh. Ooh. Well, now it's looking like Chicago PD. And then he just faints. Oh, I thought he was gonna faint. Out of my way! I'm gonna get right up in your face with this camera. Hey, hey Niskel, is this guy Ivan when he had hair? What the hell? What is going on? I don't even remember this crap. He knocked out Steve Austin. Or she knocked out Steve Austin. This is so PS2 it hurts, you're right. No Please. shit. I'm Alan from MI6. Hello, Alan. Alan! This mission is a joint operation between the CIA and MI6. We'll infiltrate the amp It's always the CIA and MI6. Like, well, who else is it? ATF? Of a FDA? Members of a certain USPS? <laughs> <laughs> we just saw this. Did they really play the entire intro again? Well, they had a lot of cutscenes and they wanted to cram a lot of them in there to get you excited. But it, because it ain't gonna be the gameplay, I bet you. No, it's not. Our I team promise. consists of two sneakers and one sweeper. John and I That's will attempt team. to infiltrate the port side deck. Cool. What is going on while I'm fighting? Well, I mean, you know, if Nina Williams would be doing anything, it would be fighting, so... Let's see if I can... Try and get some uh, backstory. Ooh, on, on this. Broken neck. <clears throat> As a covert operative of the CIA, Nina Williams enters Ooh, an underground, underground fighting, fighting tournament to track Cometa, a shadowy underworld organization. Functioning as the sweeper of her cell, Nina finds herself tracking a stolen high-tech weapon through a variety of locales 
to reveal a conspiracy on a global scale. Nina must now face a multitude of deadly enemies as well as her own past in order to save the world. So it just sounds like a generic action movie, right? Yeah. This is a... So, um... This is a very thin, anemic instruction manual. Even even for the day. So you got your... Well, so, all right, open she up. has killed everybody. All right, got your table of contents, got your the console works, the controller, main menu, buttons, getting started, game screen and rules, you know, basically the UI, more game screen, you know, what the pause button does, how to move, how to fight, how to fight okay. some more, then then some actions, some items, and then that's it. Help. Sexy swimsuit. Boy, can I like earn some of this? What is this? Can I like earn some of these uh, swimsuit shots? I feel like it's giving me a little too much at once. Can I just like? It's creepy. Someone's spying on her. I thought he had a gun. Oh, he just what? Oh, he might as well. What is that? What are is we going to fight in our bikini to start out with? Yeah, I think so. Oh, are you fucking kidding? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, come on. Jeez. <laughs> Here I am thinking, you know, Nina Williams, you know, badass assassin of the Tekken franchise. I figured Why would I use the right stick? Oh, is that attack? Oh my god. No! Oh my god! Right stick is attack? Oh, you gotta be kidding I me. I can't even. Oh, 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 You gotta attack in the direction. They're, they're, they're teaching you now. Oh. What the fuck? I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> what were they thinking? Ugh. Like it's not no, like just let me evade. Oh, left stick is evade. What does it want me to fucking do? Quickly tap the, the left stick, like, tap it. I am. This is so horrible, I can't. Tap more? I am, I'm just tapping it. I am seriously just tapping it. Use your thumb to quick tap L rather than holding it down. Like, try, push, try pushing it halfway? What? Try Go, go halfway then. Don't 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 let it, like. What do they want from us? I don't know what this. <laughs> I don't know what this. Ooh, what? 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 <laughs> Use your thumb to quick tap L rather than holding it down. Why do they tie everything to the fucking sticks? I don't know. Okay, I just I'm going on. With Oh, I pressed... Because I'm trying to attack with my buttons! Don't press start? I didn't press start. You didn't press start. Oh, wow. Well, uh, you being more of the Tekken player than me, does she play like everything she always did? Yeah, but not with the fucking... Not with just the right stick! <laughs> What the hell happened? Cutscene? Cut oh scene. my god! Damn. That kind, that kind of. Uh... What? <laughs> oh, and then you just covered with fucking guns. I didn't even need to fight. <laughs> what is with your cotton candy looking hair? She's the champion from last night. If you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way that that's got some fire. That fucking. She swimsuit didn't come off. 
I'll convert her. I'm sorry. Ew! Dude. What do you mean? Did we walk into a Final Fantasy spinoff or something? Sorry. Oh, what is this? Take Who her, are you? Put her in a room. Let's go. Boy, they want to be shadow loose so bad you can feel it. What is this dude with the guns? He has like ten guns. I gotta say though, I love the death scowl that she has as her default face. That kind of that kind of adds something, you know. <laughs> She's always mad. It's like my own frustration. It's you know her. Well, it's her being aloof to everything. Well, that's because her sister is like the complete opposite. She's always like, Get in. ah, happy all the time. Clothes. Yeah. Put some on, for Christ's sake. <coughs> I said oh. put some on! I said put <laughs> No, I didn't say lingerie. Oh, look at this. What What am I fucking wearing? <laughs> it's You're still wearing underwear! You're wearing a garter belt and a fucking smock! Look, what? What? <laughs> Are we gonna get banned on Twitch for this? No. Like, I feel like she's gonna go, Welcome, Master. Yeah, okay. Oh god. That oh, is a god. roomy hotel room. You know, Nisko, when you posted those uh, Persona 3 pics in the Discord, it was the dorm for Persona 3. And after playing through Persona 5 Royal for a while, I'm looking at that place going, Man, that dorm is spacious! You know what I didn't huge. miss? It's huge! You know uh, what I don't miss? Saving to memory cards? Uh... Yeah. Checkpoints. Save points. I don't miss that shit. I like save points still. There's still I don't. Them. I like to be able to save anywhere. Like, if I just walked right here, I want to save. Technically, memory cards never went away. I mean, I just- I had to install a, M, a, a M2 SSD. I could just walk up on the fucking bed! I was not expecting that! This is the most dullest game of the floor is lava oh, ever. Oh, and I can't push the same button that I used to open that. I have to push another button. That is the biggest door handle I've ever seen. Let me see if I can find some actual clothes oh, to wear. Nice reflection, though. That's. I miss these days. Yeah. Whoa. The camera angles are just weird, too. I hate that. I feel like we're in a Resident Evil game now. Yeah. What is the point in coming in here if I can't do shit? Well, you know how it is. It's a fetish game, so we gotta we gotta have the lady go into the bathroom to do stuff. Oh. And get a bottle of water. Okay. That's all that was in here? Am I in this outfit? I'm gonna look this game up a little bit. It's locked from the other side?! I can't- I, I feel like... Katsuhiro Harada... couldn't have been behind this too much. Let's go out here. Okay, what do we got? Another cutscene. Cause that's all these games are made of, right? Because cutscenes uh, everywhere. Williams, we've got the code red. The plan has changed. I need you to go to work. What about John? I've lost contact with him. What's your status? They've well, I went on the Wikipedia up. page and it says, See also Mortal Kombat Mythologies Sub-Zero. What?! A spin-off of the Mortal Kombat uh, series with a similar premise. What? Well, I mean... Why would I want to do that? Gozo Sakagami produced this. That's all Wikipedia's gonna give me on this one. What is <laughs> I'm queen of the world. What do I, need? I need to hold it so I can see the back. Okay. So with this uh Yozo Sakagami guy. <clears throat> He's produced a number of uh, Bandai Namco games. Uh, IMDB only has six here from 2005 to 2014. They include Death by Degrees, of course, but also he's a chief producer of God's Eater Burst, uh, producer of Ace Combat Assault Horizon, 
an executive producer of Tales of Zillia 2. He's also known as the... What the? The Idol Master Movie uh, producer. He produced the Idol Master Movie Beyond the Brilliant Future and the Idol Master Live for You. I don't know anything about Idol Master. That kind of stuff just gives me the heebie-jeebies. What I is going on? I don't know anything about... What are you even doing? Well, I am in... They put me in this fucking shit for no reason. If Nina had a bit of, uh, you know, narration, oh, God. give a little bit of context. Because <gasps> we just went from Resident Evil to Metal Gear Solid 2 there for a second. I can see why you played this for only five minutes. I would have stopped playing after they said, move the sticks to... Nope. Yeah. What kind of ship is this? Oh my god, what is up here? Yes. Like, Greek? Do you read me? I'm by the pool now. I was already by the hmm. pool. Not your typical cruise ship, is it? It's nice for them to uh, give the this is their change the colors of the much of the sub of the subtitles. Any the civilians? Word. None, just them. I well, think mythologies that, things. Th that that has a little bit less context. More uh, just play the game. It's not a very good game, but I think it's more playable than this. I'll manage. So what do you need me to do? In order to complete the mission. We need to retrieve John's GPS device. It will enable us to locate our targets. But first, I need you to locate John. A GPS device? Okay. Uh, a GPS device? Layout. Colonel, you what's can that? You on John's distress signal. It could be a trap, so proceed with caution. I'm this feels like every popular game that came out around 2000 to 2003 <clears throat> crammed yeah. into one video game. It definitely gives me Resident Evil vibes. It's giving me Resident Evil vibes. It's giving me Metal Gear Solid 2 vibes. It's giving me uh, fucking Mortal Kombat Mythologies vibes. It's giving me every generic okay. action game that came out around this time. I, I can see why they did not choose to uh, further Nina Williams' story in A Death by Degrees 2. Oh, shit. Stuff. I thought that said coward. It says command. I can barely read some of these. How the hell do I get out of here? Press R1 to grab an enemy. Yes, I've done that. For a gra huh. Good lord. Oh, yeah. oh god. Oh. Keep wanting to... All personnel, do not leave your assigned posts. Roger. All right, what kind of idiot picks up a PS2 controller, looks at all the buttons on there and the little buttons on where their fingers rest, and go, when developing their action game, hmm. God. Okay. We have all these buttons here that do things, but I know how I want to fight. I seriously keep wanting to press, like, the square button to fight. Let me move the sticks. This and is the square it. Yeah. button is the map. No, don't you see, Violet? But, if you use the stick, that gives you 300 and... Listen, that's right, that's right! Listen to me! <laughs> it's fucking... on the back! Control Nina with an intuitive 360-degree combat system! No, it's They're not! They're proud of this! Because uh, you, can, you can fight in any direction all around you. So, when you push the map, which is square, you can't push square again to get out of the map. You push fucking start. <laughs> oh my god! Wield a variety of weapons, including handguns, sniper fuck? rifles, swords, and tonfas. Burst organs and shatter bones with Nina's critical strike. It really wants to be Mortal Kombat now, does it? And deliver Nina's what? signature moves outside the fighting ring. But isn't I am literally going in the direction they are, and it's not fucking working. So yesterday I gave you Hades. Today I gave you uh, Death by Degrees. I think that's called uh, evening things out. God. 
Just get down on the ground like I want you to. Now, so, in terms of PS2 action games, what's worse? This or Angel of Darkness? This! Oh my god. Thank fuck she can swim. <laughs> I thought the game was about ready to kill- Okay. Uh, I guess we're going underwater now. What the fuck? I don't want to go underwater. What is going on? Oh, I'd, oh, I would much rather play Ninja Gaiden 2. How do I get out? Uh, d use the sticks. I am! Use the buttons, but not the one that brings up the map? Like X? Oh my god, Circle, are you fucking kidding me? Circle! Get me the fuck out of here. They did And then they just- The fucking camera. I have to hold R2 to do this. Well, that makes sense, yeah. If I want to see her from behind. If you want to see her from behind- Oh. Oh. Not like this. What? What is this That's- that's Aki. That's Icky. You know, a lot of these advent calendar picks were, uh, were kernels of ideas for Let's Plays that never were, and now's a good time to talk about them. Like, Time and Eternity was one such game. I am dead serious I'm when sure. I say they made the wrong decision to do- because I just want to, like, go in that direction. Ugh. But she's kicking. I am glad we did not let's play this I gotta game. hold this. I hate this. This game is so ucky. Yep, this 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 is pretty uh pretty nast, gotta say. It's a small wonder that there are zero followers of this game on Twitch. <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, like you're really gonna do some sneaking around in that. Enemy contact. <sighs> I don't even care. I, I think they told you how to burst organs. I don't care because I'm never gonna fucking play this game. I've got the Monopoly for death by degrees. Oh, what's worse, this or Ninja Gaiden Z? Uh, I'm gonna say this, because Ninja Gaiden Z at least lets me hit square and triangle a lot to do the attacks that, are, that make sense. Not this ridiculous 360 intuitive viewing yeah, check it out, oh yeah! I'm gonna die. When I die, I'm done. <laughs> There's so many dudes. Isn't this intuitive? I'm <laughs> fine, bitch. Mission failed. That's one way to so say it. So there's too much shit to learn. Hell no, I don't want to fucking try again. I think we do. What? I think we do. No! What do you mean? I th what? I think we want to try again. I definitely think we want to try again. No, I don't want to fucking try again. We're gonna try again. No! We're gonna try it's again. It's so hard, dude. I don't want to do why, this. That's why we're gonna try again. Try again here. We're gonna try again. I'll play if you want me to. Oh! You wanna see someone get mad? It's gonna be Jester. <laughs> no, why are you doing this? Yeah, I'll even use my own card. Perfect. <laughs> yeah, sure. I mean, I already have Carpal Tunnel because of Guitar Hero 3. Let's give me better Carpal Tunnel. You're a 
hilarious supersonic. Yeah, that's, that's a, the next video from Game Champ 3000. Can you beat Death by Degrees at all? All right, expert mode. That's that's what they mean by code list. Because you're not cheating. You're you you're an expert. Because you're getting d d alternative devices for your PlayStation 2. Look at you, you tech handling man. I have the teacher's manual. The teacher's manual, yes. Wonder if it'll start right on Sonic Heroes. <laughs> it would have been the last game, yeah. It was the last game that was in this console for uh, to put in this. There are a lot of games it has to load. No way. Not to mention the ones that I added. Yep. yep. Sonic Heroes. Should be in here. This is a pretty... I got this device around 2007, I think. Destroy humans. Yep. There we go. <laughs> infinite... Perfect. B. Max, yeah, infinite focus, infinite air, just infinite at all. Quick level up, infinite skill points. Yeah, do it all up. Sure. Max combo. Yeah, why not? Why not? What the hell is all this? That's it's all the I items. I don't need them because I just got infinite whatever. I think I think we got what we need. Key items, I bet. I find that those don't always work if uh, Nocturne was anything to go by. Hunting kit. Turn all these on. What could happen? Geyser cannon! Rapid kick! Hunting cutter! Ivory cutter! Bad habit! Bad habit? Hold submission combo! Rapid kick submission! Killing viper! Double geyser cannon! Rapid kick combo! Hunting slicer! Five hit combo! Reversal! Hunting kick combo! Hunting swan! Bone, Bone cutter. cutter! Wall attack! Spinning cutter! Break fall! Hammer throw! Surrender attack! Bone cutter submission! Evasion submission! Headhunter twist throw! Accelerate vision level one! Accelerate vision level two! Disarm and attack! Focus breath! <gasps> level one! Look at all this shit! S Sniper mode? What the fuck? What is this? Alright, go ahead and press start. Let's get this going. Yep, start game with the codes on. Thank you for joining me on my let's play of uh, action replay max for the PlayStation 2. <laughs> Without it, I could not have beaten Nocturne. He's a lot of Shin Megami. Uh, he used a lot of action replay to beat a lot of Shin Megami Tensai games. They're hard. Persona 3, Persona 4, Sur uh, Devil Survivor, uh, Strange Journey. Nocturne, if I really wanted to, Digital Devil, but I don't, so. Yeah. It's thinking. It's a thinking. Trying to. Oh, no. Nina. Nina? It made a little noise like I wanted to act, <laughs> but it didn't do anything. Still, ma right, still making some noise like oh, 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 okay, oh, all right, uh, yeah, all right. There it is. Okay, we're live. We're good. Yeah, let's skip this cutscene before it crashes on us again. Fucking right.
I got to the very final boss of uh, Strange Journey, and then I found out that no ending is really a good ending, and I kind of messed up the ending I wanted, so I just gave up. What are we doing? Load game or? Uh, new game, probably. Oh god. Let's just skip through everything and see if we can get to where we were. With a little bit of uh, added souped up goodness, you know? <laughs> Loading. I don't miss loading time. Yeah, thanks to the power of the PS5. And the Switch. The Switch. The Switch. The Switch has got some loading. Barely. That's fine. Holy shit. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> so now it's going to give us all the tutorial text, is it? All right, skip it. 1945. Weather conditions. Can you not? I can't skip it. Fort Lauderdale, oh, Florida. my. Flight 19. Fuck. 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 I'm so oh. sorry. No! Strange Journey. Why? <laughs> is a Shin Megami Tensei game, uh, more of the old school variety with the 3D uh, maze going type. And uh, it's it's difficult, but it's fun. This region a little bit down by the mostly. Florida Peninsula, the Bermuda Archipelago, and the island of Puerto Rico. Has been I hate this. Why? The Bermuda Wait, hang on. I know this part. It's it, 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 it's like oh, it's you know, opening to Metal Gear Solid One. It, it, it's, you know. Or just play. My heart will go on. God. Doesn't look like you're above the clouds. Looks like you're in boiling water. As if we're above the clouds. As if we're above the clouds. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's like we're under the ocean. Do you think I'm gonna let you play this for the advent calendar? No way. This is gonna go back into its case and then yep. back into the shelf where it'll never be moved again. Oh my god, this guy. I will make sure that, I, that if I get PS2 games, it will be after the letter D to make sure I don't move it in my collection. Precisely Sims Mage. Out of my way. Yeah, I know you've got some like games Brad like that. Pitt. You brought some of those games out for the advent calendar. My, what a oh my god. Give it to me! I cannot believe we have to watch this again. Unskippable opening. Uh, ho, 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 ho. Williams, I'm Alan from MI6. Hello, Alan. I completely forgot about you as soon as I started this playing. This mission is a joint operation between the CIA and MI6. We'll infiltrate the Amphitrite, a Glafira Corporation cruise ship. Is everything out of sync now? A video recon of a meeting held by high-ranking members no. of a certain organization. I think it's because of the <gasps> tutorial text, it kind of. Is. Oh dear. See, if bad games hurt you, you just gotta hurt them back. Action replay. Our team consists of two sneakers and one sweeper. John what is this, Harry Potter? So what? You have two shoes and a broom? Yeah. Two sneakers and a sweeper. Yeah. That just sounds like a Quidditch match. Oh wait, here we go. Here's Sam fucking Fisher. You want to throw it into the the tropes of the of the of the industry at the time? Wouldn't this have been a better tutorial? Yeah, her fighting in the ring, really, with like 
an actual outfit that looks like it belongs. But this is around the time that Namco wanted to try and make movies. Ooh, that's why. That's when they made, you know, Tekken Bloodlines and you know, the Tekken and Six movies and all that. And, How about know, Blood Rain? Upon oh, Blood Rain. Oh, Blood Rain. Oh, Blood Rain. Oh, Blood Rain. Oh, man. Blood Rain was around this time, too, wasn't it? They just, they just released Blood Rain 2 about a year ago. Oh, jeez. Oh, man. Do we have any more bad games for the calendar? Um... Your mileage may vary. I'm keeping my lip sealed shut. You know what? I, I would have liked you to know. My name is Nina Williams. I'm a something or other. Right, an intro to her. I'm basically Tekken's version of Cammy White. Yeah. Is she British? Yeah. Well, it's yeah, Cammy British. White. Her Except Kemi gets her face Ashley. kicked in a lot. I like Ashley. You should look up Ashley. You you, you look up Kemi White. She gets her ass kicked a lot, like a lot, a lot. Oh, here's this stupid shit. Kind of kind of explains my uh, track record in Street Fighter Five, though. That's for sure. I call this a Charlie's Angels opening. No doubt. It's where they. Drop all pretense of this being anything about strong feminine, and you know it's this is for the the horny boys that went ahead and bought this. Yep. You start the game and you get tutorialized in a fucking bikini or a swimsuit or ridiculously a skimpy outfit that has no business here. That would totally have fallen off by now if she was moving the way she does. Well, here's this again. 360 degrees! That means that you have at least th 15 ways to miss! Oh, here, let's see if I can do this again. What? Well, there you go. Why wasn't it doing it before? You know, I gotta say, I'm looking back on 7 Samurai 20XX a little bit uh, fonder now. Because at least, again, I could just mash square, not this ridiculous 360 intuitive degrees of combat! What the... Transition. Hey, just goes into... Damn. Oh, I wasn't winning, so I'm gonna pull a gun out and shoot this woman. <laughs> That's so dumb. Hidden context of Dead or Alive Extreme 3. She yes, I'm pretty sure it's about uh, chauvinism. Oh, yeah. There is a futuristic Seven Samurai game. Hmm. This one's got some fire in her. Weirdo. She won't be easy to tame. I'll convert her. I That's a gross. Gross. <laughs> <laughs> That's Take her. gross. Put her in a room. Oh, the bouncer. Ah, oh, the bouncer! Ooh, the bouncer! <laughs> oh man, the bouncer made me jealous when I was a kid. When that game first came out, you know, I see that stuff happening on the PlayStation 2, but I had sold my loyalty to Sega and their Dreamcast, and then the bouncer comes out. I'm like, oh man, that looks so good. <laughs> all these good games coming out for PlayStation 2. Man. I have the PlayStation 2. God Hand, you know, I have not played God Hand in at least in. Uh, at least 15 years. I really should see if I can play it better now. Your clothes. Put them on, even though they're probably not hers. Here, put on this cheesecloth. Cheese. And then she just marches out the window. <laughs> uh, The Bouncer is a game. It's a very short game. It's kind of ridiculous. It's kind of dumb. I... So I only played it once years ago, and it didn't really stick to me. But oh, its God. brevity and the fact that it wasn't anything that I thought it would be when I was a kid when I actually played it just... Yeah. I can't skip any of these. What about John? I've lost contact with him. What's your what about John? They've We're not talking anymore. Up. I'm hoping that maybe he'll still go to the no, movies with me, but we'll see. He hasn't been responding back to my texts. Get out of there. I'll contact you later. Oh, he's just in a firefight on the other line. Shut up! Up, oh, sorry. You're, you're breaking up. I'm gonna. Uh, 
Uh, kudos to the fact that she's doing this in heels. Yeah. I don't know. I would want to figure that. You know, maybe combat boots or a pair of uh, running sneakers or. Nope, that's her thing. Maybe even like some tabby sandals would be something. A no, bit more... this is her thing. Like high heels. She fights in high heels, and they hurt. Hmm. You know what hurts is this damn camera angle. And then it switches, and I'm like, uh. A surveillance camera? stage <coughs> and your stupid codes <coughs> and your really big memory card for some reason. Why was she on this boat if they just kidnapped her? Yeah, it seems like that they like she was on this boat relaxing and then they hmm. took her and Not your typical now they have the her in a room. And... What even is this boat? This feels like a, a set piece for the Tomb Raider movie. It's a cruise Any ship. Any civilians? None. Just them. Weird. Well, that simplifies things. Don't do anything rash. If anybody even does speak about this you. game. Are you armed? I'll manage. So what do you need me to do? In order to complete the mission, we need to retrieve John's GPS device. Yes, yes. It will enable us to locate our targets. But first, I need you to locate John. A GPS <laughs> device? <coughs> I'll send you a map of the ship's layout. You can zero in on John's distress signal. It could be a trap, so proceed with caution. I'm counting on you. I just remembered. Mm hmm. This is why I stopped playing this game. Why? Because I couldn't find John. <laughs> I couldn't find this fucking room that he was in. Well, now that we have the power of a literal god, let's see if we can find John. Well, I know he's. I think he's on the second floor. So, and we're like up here. <sighs> Gotta push all these fucking buttons to get away. Maximum security level protocols are now in effect. All personnel, do not leave your assigned posts. Roger. Kick their ass! See something Intruder sighted. Oh, now you got a whole lot of stuff. Ooh! Are we gonna. You pressed the wrong button! I thought it was loading like a super powerful attack or something like that. Ooh, wow. She's got a lot of crazy moves now. Hell yeah, here we go. This is more like it. Yeah! <laughs> um, what the fuck do I do, sir? Ah! No doubt. I hate. Oh, the camera angle. Kick it down, come on. So I can move with the right stick when I'm in this camera angle. Which is what I want to do normally. Because that's how games are played. Yeah, who designed this? I feel like that the guy who designed this doesn't know how video games really work. Yeah. Now I can beat these dudes to death. Loading and cutscenes. That's this whole game. Execute a chokehold. Or not. Oh, for fuck's sake. Don't press the buttons! want to, though, because that's how a fighting game is played! Why would this be a fighting game? Gee, I wonder why. It's just the first word in this in this title is technically Tekken, because the full title is Tekken's Nina Williams in Death by Degrees. Even though it's under D in my... So. Boy, I gotta tell you, this game really needs a PS5 remake. 
tell me to flick it. Go in that direction. Oh, there it is. Woo! Except it does shit. It's time for a oh, shift change. What the f <laughs> Oh, wow. Just grab him. <sighs> you gotta dodge out of the way. Just move the sticks! Just move the sticks a whole bunch! That's all you got! <laughs> Fascinated by Clock Tower, never played any of them. They look too cumbersome you know for me. So, uh, which button brings up that menu? Fucking, uh, square. Try triangle. What about triangle? No, does nothing. Circle? Does nothing. None of these do anything. Those two buttons do nothing. Why couldn't those- Ugh. Why couldn't the buttons that do nothing be the attack buttons? i played a lot of bad action games, but this might be one of the worst. What is this? Do I, oh god. Just because of how they want you to use, to use the sticks, and then- Oh man, I think I would have preferred motion controls. Yeah. Motion controls would have been more intuitive than whatever this is. You imagine you got the nunchuck in, in you know, your left hand, you got the Wiimote in your right hand. And you know, if you want to like dodge out of the way, you just flick the nunchuck. Then you like pr press the Z button to grab onto an enemy, and then you like throw both of the, 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 you know, just jerk them both forward and to okay. throw them. That could work way better than whatever this is. Man. What the? Okay, so I came in from there. No More Heroes is a better is a good example of a decent action game. I mean, that had some issues too, but the charm and just the playability of it made up for a lot of the bad problems with it. This is repetitive, okay? It's kind of boring in certain parts. More loading. My legs get stronger now. She gets up on there automatically, by the way. <gasps> Who was that? Let me get down in the middle of the- Colonel, it's me! <laughs> it's, it's Nina Gear Solid! Tekken what Gear Solid! What the fuck is going on? Here? We are doing the tanker chapter! Really? Grab by the ghoulies at the same combat? You can't be serious. You're telling me they played Grab by the Ghoulies and they're like, oh yeah, this is it. We gotta make our uh, Tekken spinoff just like this. Yeah. Now I'm getting it. The only way to play it with infinite life. God, that you move and attack at the same time. That, sound, that, that sounds hard, but you know, without context, I don't know if, if it works or not. Clearly, in the in a game like this, which is a generic action game, the like being able to hit square and triangle, like that's yeah. that's that's just natural. We'd be able to forgive a lot of this stupid crap if we could just do that. But the fact that they want us to do all this ridiculous, you know, stick wielding. Yeah, it's pretty to do atrocious. basic things. To, ah, I'm getting kicked in the back. Really? <laughs> that dude was easy. Great. Oh no. Oh no. Don't tell me. Yep, now I gotta fucking do sniping. Mandatory shit. sniping section. Oh, this game is just everything at once! 
It's like, what kind of game do you want to be, Death by Degrees? And it told me, yes. <laughs> I want to be a video game. A video game that just screams oh, 2005. What the hell do you think you're doing? Oh, that looks nightmarish. So... It feels like they're playing Rage Against the Machine in the background. That riff, anyway. So the scope... Hey, I thought that this had intense violence and blood and gore and all that. But it feels like I've got magic. Psst, you're dead, Bolts! Whoa, who's fucking killing me now? Come on, hurry up and take them out! Youch! Youch! Owie! You got shot in the kidney! Bullshit! Like, what are we using? Ten caliber bullets for the sniper rifle? What the hell? It's like time crisis now! It's like time crisis! Reload, reload! Which, granted, was also a Namco oh, well, title, Alan's but. Dead. Alan! <laughs> Why didn't you get behind things, you idiot? Alright. We get it, we get it? Yeah. But I got you? I got your bonus game. No. A little baby bonus. No. For inside your copy of Death by Degrees is a little bonus. You get a demo of Tekken 5. No fucking shit. Yes, you do. Let's pop that in instead. Okay. Be a more triumphant way to end things with some actual fucking Tekken. Yeah. You don't have Tekken 5, but you do have Tekken Dark Resurrection, which, near as I can tell, is just Tekken 5 for the PSP. Yeah, this came out before Tekken 5. Tekken 5.25. Five. So I'm going to be a little upset if Nina isn't in this demo. I'm pretty sure she's in the, oh, in the demo. I yeah. feel like if I buy a Nina Williams game, I'd want to play Nina Williams in some form of Tekken, <laughs> right? you know? Just, just, just a thought. Just, just a, a thought. Just just a head scratcher, you know? So, uh, Tekken 5. <sighs> so I didn't play Tekken Get 5, did you? Uh, yeah. Uh, 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 oh, we're just jumping yep. into Let's it. Let's do it. <laughs> You don't even get to play as Nina. Final round. You Final play round. as Raven. Huh. Try moving the sticks! Uh, Tekken 8 hype, anybody? I mean, I'm, I know I'm more of a Street Fighter kid, but... Ah, Tekken 8, right? Yes. Okay, so at first... I had like a week or two I with thought Tekken I could 6. move with the D-pad, but... Game over. Okay, thanks. Game over. Restart the game. Can I fucking do another one? I'm going to Maybe laugh. Maybe it's random characters. Let's do... Oh, I'm going to laugh. If it's the same fucking if characters. This, if it is just that one match, that's all they give you. Oh, wow! Don't tell me! Get ready for the next battle. Oh you got a bit shitting God. me! <laughs> Why? The worst! It's like one of the worst freaking I players! Even, I don't even know who this guy is! I don't remember him. He looks like Blade. Final round. 
<laughs> yeah, there you go. There you go. There you go. You got it. Tacking that shit up. Tack it! Oh, you're getting tacked. Bitch! Side seven! Oh. He just hurt. Like, he isn't a very good player. So. Well, I think we can all agree this box is a disappointment in every single conceivable way. Game over. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, be the first to play the Tekken 5 demo, included in Death by Degrees. Yeah, thank you for the two worst players. That game didn't come out for a while. Tekken 5 came out in, uh... Get ready for the next battle. But, but... Are you kidding me? What? Right. I cannot allow you to interfere. It came out later that month! Yeah. It came out later that month! I thought it was like some months off, or at least a year. It's, it's just, it's just one month! You couldn't give me anything more in a demo like this? Oh, come on. Just let me pick a couple characters. I mean, do I even have to be Raven? Uh, Raven, do I click the knight? He doesn't even, he doesn't even have like a forward, like you run and do something. Oh yeah, it really he makes He doesn't you, have a forward attack. Really makes me want to play Tekken 5. Uh, yep, sure. Anyway, anyway, that include that you know. That concludes. Con concludes, yeah, <laughs> includes, concludes. The conclusion is included. That crap. But so. that is the end of today's Yule stream. We've got one more day of Yule planned tomorrow. Yep. And uh, join Violet and I. And we're gonna do a couple of games of Mario Golf Super Rush. Well as one final mystery game.